What's up guys, Justin here with DCGessentials.com back with another Blender quick tip for you. And so I wanted to make a video talking through how to add and remove windows inside of Blender. So a lot of the time you want to have windows that either show different kinds of data or um, that show you different viewports of your model. So I wanted to show you how to quickly do that and how to customize your workspace in that way. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so adding windows is fairly simple. So all you need to do is just move your mouse over really any of the corners where your windows intersect. So for example, you can see how if I move my mouse over this upper left hand corner, it turns into this little crosshair. So it'll do the same thing over here um, down below, but all you need to do is just click and drag when it's on this crosshair in order to add a second window inside of your model. And so that second window you're going to notice is acting independently from your first window. So what that means is that means you could use this one to do like a top view or a front view or something like that, while the other one over here has a different view inside of it. And so not only can you add these windows by dragging um, vertically, you can also drag or dragging horizontally, you can also drag vertically. So for example, I can mouse over this, click and drag, and then I can add a second window right here. So I could do like a front view, I could do a top view. So really you could use these to create any kind of views that you want inside of Blender. And so not only is this capable of um, not only is this capable of creating different 3D viewports, you can also use these windows to access different tools. So for example, one of the more popular ones is, um, for example, you might want the UV editor down here, and then you might want the, um, the shader editor up here so that you can see all of your different windows and materials so you can make changes to your you can make changes to your shaders up here you can make uv changes down here and then you could have a 3d viewport on the side here in order to um, make changes inside your model so there's a lot of different combinations but you can change the editor type by just clicking this little drop down and notice that you can do that for any of these inside of your inside of blender and so now the other thing that can be a little bit tricky when you first get started is how do you get rid of these, right? Because it's really easy to come in here and accidentally add like too many windows or something like that. So it's really easy for me to accidentally add a second window in here and then a second window in here. And all of a sudden everything is really kind of crowded. Well, what you can do is you can mouse over the intersection um, between the two windows. So you can see I can mouse over this and I get the double-sided arrow. When you get the double-sided arrow, you can right click on this and you can click on the button for join areas. And so what join areas is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to take these windows and join them into a single window. And notice you get this little arrow when you mouse over them. That basically is showing you the one that's dim is going to be the one it's going to get rid of. The one that's bright is the one it's going to keep. So for example, I could merge this upward so that I only have one window here. And one thing to note about this is this does not work. Um, if you have two windows over here and a single window over here, you don't get the option for join areas because it wouldn't know where to join them, right? Because this one has two different windows and this one only has one. So what you need to do is you need to right click over here and join these so that you have the same number of windows um, vertically or horizontally. Then you can right click on this and you can join these areas. And then these are all adjustable just like this and you can do the same thing right here to join these areas as well. And then one other thing to point out about this is you can also use this to create custom workspaces or custom tabs right here. So up above, you can see there's an option for add workspace. And so let's say that you have one of these that you use a lot. So let's say that you use one of these and you use the shader editor and the UV editor together a lot. So let's say you do that and you want to be able to get back to this quickly. Well, what you can do is you can click the little plus button right here to add a workspace. And when you do this, you can see how there's a number of different options for different workspaces in here. Well, you can also click on the button for duplicate current. And so when you duplicate current, what that's going to do is that's going to save this workspace as is so that you can get back to it later. So if you have something that you use a lot of, like for example, so if you have something you use a lot of, you could set this up so that you have your own workspace inside of Blender that you can get back to. So you can save this custom and then 
you can double click in here and you could name this JG window or whatever you wanted to call this right here so that you can get back to it really quickly. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Are you using custom workspaces like this? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.